in this introduction video I'm going to share uh, my setup of infrared heating throughout the home and in future episodes I'm going to share how much power and, and the cost of heating the home with infrared heating. This is purely an experiment. At the end of this video I'll also share the costs that I had last year heating the whole home with infrared heating and how much power it used. I'll start off in the lounge. Now the lounge is the biggest surface area in the whole house. Um, it's approximately four and a half meters by five meters and it also has an open staircase up, into, up to the landing. The infrared heater is a picture panel and is 1200 watts and as all of the infrared heaters are will be plugged into a smart energy meter which gives detail of how much power is being consumed and has consumed um, over a period of time and, and these smart plugs will be controlled um, via Sonoff SNZB002 Zigbee thermostat part of my home, home um, smart system Moving on to the kitchen, that's approximately just over three meters by four and a half meters, and that has a single 400 watt heater uh, mounted high up against the ceiling, um, angled down over the dining table. I purposefully um, use a small heater in the kitchen because it is a kitchen, it has natural heat sources within it. Moving on to the games room at the back of the house. Um, we have a 600 watt glass infrared heater. This is on the southern wall, um, just under the window. And to finish off downstairs, um, the downstairs loo has a very small 200 watt infrared heater just above the door. We don't have any heating source in the garage at all. Moving upstairs into the master bedroom, that's a, the same size as the lounge downstairs, approximately four meters by four and a half meters and that is a 600 watt infrared heater moving on to the smallest bedroom in the house which is approximately three meters by two and a half meters and that has a 400 watt infrared panel bedroom two over the games room um, this is actually part of the extension all of this eastly side of the house is part of the extension we have a 600 watt infrared heater in there and that room is approximately four meters by three and a half meters and the majority of the east side wall is a large gable outside wall bedroom one that is um, a north facing window um, wall outside wall with a east side gable wall also and that has a 600 watt infrared heater in there as well this is the room above the garage we do have a separate 12 kilowatt electric boiler on a wet heating system. This was, this was replaced. This replaced our gas boiler when that failed back in 2019, but we haven't used that for the last year and a half. Last year to maintain uh, internal temperature between 20 and 21 degrees throughout all the rooms, we used 4,652 kilowatt hours from October to April. This year I do plan on reducing that temperature down and try and save a little energy, but um, time will tell with that. And I will be trying to um, record data every week um, from each individual room so we get a little bit more detail of where the energy is going throughout the 2022-23 heating season. And if you have any comments or questions, please add it to the section below and thanks for watching.